For serious YouTubers, save time and money with TubeBuddy, the premier tool used at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I love Linux and I also love video games. So today I'm going to be giving you my Linux gaming setup tour. So this kind of shows you what I do whenever I game. And I will say that I am not a serious gamer. I am more of a casual gamer. And so on my channel, you see that I'll have a lot of retro games and also Steam games as well, all running on Linux. Now, I'm going to start first with the actual hardware that I have. This is my monster Linux PC and I did do an episode where I did a complete Linux PC build and so if you've not seen that be sure to check it out in the description area below. Okay so let's go ahead and start the tour with the hardware. Okay so the most important part of any gaming setup is the hardware. So let's start off with the case itself. This is an Inwin 303 mid tower case and it's really sweet looking pearly white color. And then the design itself it actually is screwless so you could easily twist these off and get into the side panels. And then on the other side it actually is a clear case with a real charcoal gray look but you can still see all your beautiful components. And speaking of components, let's look and see what's inside my monster Linux PC. Starting off with the Intel Core i7-6700K Unlock. This is a beastly CPU and it's more than enough for my gaming needs. And in terms of the RAM itself, I got 16 gigs of DDR4 memory running at 3000 megahertz. And for the hard drives, keeping in the theme of speed, I actually have two SSD. I have a crucial 750 gig, and I also have a 250 gig SK Hynix for the operating system. And then to keep everything cool inside, I have a CryoRig H7 fan to go on top of my processor, and this is a pretty big fan. And then to keep the rest of the machine cool, I have these AXE 120 millimeter fans. I actually have seven of these fans running inside my machine. And then the motherboard itself, I have a MSI Z170 Tomahawk. So this is like the lower end model, but once again, it's more than enough for my gaming needs. And for my GPU, I have the AMD Radeon RX 470 GPU. It does have four gigs of memory and it does a beautiful job for my monster Linux PC. And so if we actually look inside the case, you can see that I have quite a few fans in here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fans. And there is a lot of negative uh, air in here, meaning that I have more air being pushed out. So I'll probably fix that later on. And also the fans itself, they're pretty loud. And so I'll probably also have to upgrade the fans here as well. But as you can see here, there is the actual cryo rig right there on top of the processor. I have my memory right here, 16 gigs, it's got 8 gig sticks each. And then down here is my AMD RX 470 GPU, also MSI as well. And so that is what's inside my machine. Now for the last part of my hardware is actually the monitor itself. This is an HP 23 inch IPS display with a max resolution of 1080p. So this is more of a budget monitor, but for me it's absolutely beautiful. And of course for my gaming, I have retro gaming. I use MAME for Linux for that. And the controller that I use is the Logitech F310. This is an amazing controller for the price. It's probably the most popular budget controller. And for me, I love the fact that it's very similar to the PlayStation controller. So it's familiar and it works on a lot of games. And then secondly, the build quality on this is excellent. Now in terms of modern gaming, of course, I'm going to be using Steam. Steam pretty much saved Linux on gaming. If you remember gaming on Linux prior to Steam, it was pretty bad. And actually, a lot of people who wanted to game on Linux would use Wine so they could run Windows games. And so in terms of any upgrades that I would do to my system, I would probably get a gaming keyboard and mouse. And maybe I might get a better monitor with higher refresh rates and a higher resolution and maybe bigger than what I have here. So that's my entire Linux gaming setup. If you wanted to get any of these components that I talked about today, 
I will leave it in the affiliate links below. And if you did have your own Linux gaming setup that you wanted to share or some of the things that you like to do on your gaming machine, be sure to leave it in the comments area below. So thank you for watching this gaming setup tour. You know, um, if you did enjoy these videos, leave a like and subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.